editing Alyssa here and I'm just here to tell you that this beginning clip where I'm sitting in front of the bookcases I talk a lot about how I was really sad that day and I just wanted to let you know before you start this video because it's the very first thing I talk about so I will leave a timestamp that you can skip to probably on the screen that you can avoid that it's not that deep but if you're feeling sad I don't want you to watch it so welcome to this video Hello, it is now Tuesday, it's early afternoon time, and today is not a good day for me. I woke up and I tried doing a Zoom meeting today, and I cried within 30 minutes of being on. It's so hard for me to live in my brain sometimes because it's hard to know if I am trying to overly anticipate how I'm going to feel or if I'm just properly judging my emotions. kind of had a feeling last night based on looking at my mood and the cycles that I had a feeling that I wasn't gonna feel good today, and I don't. I really feel terrible. I am so sad. When I get like this, it's just really hard to deal with it and to just live. I am most of the time an extremely empathetic person, and when I'm this bad, <laughs> I feel nothing. <laughs> I feel nothing for anybody, and it's not because I don't want to, because I can't, it's because I just don't have the ability to feel anything for anybody. And it makes me sad. It makes it hard to be around anybody to have any type of conversation because any conversation I have, I just don't care about. I just don't care about. I can't enjoy anything. Even if I do very, very momentarily enjoy it, I just go back to a thing again. It's hard to ignore the knee jerk which is to find some unhealthy behavior. I'm just trying to live through it and ride it out, but it never gets easier. <laughs> it gets easier in the sense of when you know it and you know how it feels and you can maybe learn how to live through it without doing any damage, but it doesn't make it any easier to live through it. It doesn't make it any less miserable when you're miserable. It doesn't. I don't suffer from like chronic depression, never ending depression, but I get these intense bouts and they never coincide with anything. There are never any triggers. It's never at the same time. It just happens. It's a pattern for me. I just gotta ride it out. Sometimes it's a day, sometimes it's a few days, sometimes it's a couple weeks, sometimes it's a whole month. We know when it's gonna happen, when it's gonna stop, and to what severity it's gonna be. So that's what's going on. What a great update. I am gonna change my TBR around a little bit. I am going to use the Mama Odie prompt for the Disneyathon, which is you can swap out any one of your prompts for another team's prompt. I'm gonna do that because I've realized I don't want to read King of Scars. I think I wanted to have the best intentions with it, but I just don't know if I want to go back into that world. That means I would need to change around a book in my TBR, so I'm gonna swap the prompt of a book with royalty for, I think, Beauty and the Beast? I forget which team it's on, but it's the a book you predict will be five stars, and for that I'm going to read um, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, which is the third book in the Sherlock Holmes series. So that's my current read. I have the audiobook, and I picked it because I really feel like I'm gonna love it, and it's easy reading, it's easy listening. I can just listen to it and like not have to be super emotionally invested, but like still enjoy it. I'm gonna go. And maybe I'll find something nice to do for myself, like make tea or 
coffee or something that, you know, treat myself, I guess. <laughs> Hello, it's now Wednesday at seven o'clock. So I have read more done things today. I am into <laughs> The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. In this edition, it's like a bind up. I'm on page 245 of 395. So I have like 150-ish pages left. So far, really, really enjoying it. This bookmark, fantastic. So I've been listening to that on audiobook. I listened to some of it during when I was making dinner tonight, made a really delicious shrimp curry and it was really, really wonderful and just what I wanted. Now I have some grapes with whipped cream. I don't know, I thought I would spice it up and show you what I'm eating. And I have some of these like low carb chocolate chip cookies because I just eat low carb because I feel good. Mm. I also had therapy this morning and it was probably one of the most enlightening sessions I've had in a long time. I definitely came to terms and figured out a lot of what I was thinking in my head and it was really good and really what I needed and I just feel good about it. Today I'm not as sad, which is good. I'm not like really, really sad, so that's nice. And I just had a pretty good day. Plans for tonight is to read more in The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I would like to maybe read another 50 pages, that would be cool. Last night what I did was I, I watched some Roswell talk about a fun trash show. I don't know if I watched it in its entirety, but I watched a good chunk of it when I was in my teens and I haven't really watched it since and it's been so fun. I painted my nails last night so it'll look all pretty. If I could have an emotion for today, it would be grateful. I'm grateful for so many things in my life. I'm not going to talk about it because it's going to make me cry, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful not only for all of the many things and people in my life, but in so many ways, I'm, I'm grateful for how far I've come as a person. I used to be not fun. I used to be so unable to be happy and enjoy things and um yeah i have my times when i can't but overall i've i've learned to cope a lot that's gonna be my update for today i'm not gonna update you again tonight i might if i'm feeling up to it but i'm tired so i'm just gonna go eat my little snacks and i will Talk to you later. Good afternoon. It is now Thursday at about two o'clock. Yeah, don't be fooled by the dark skies. It is still early. I'm on page 269. I think I have like 130 pages still left of this. So I do want to read more of that today. I didn't read as much as I would have liked to last night. I'm eating some anti-pasta salad that I made for the first time. Don't know if I'll like it. Let's try. Loki slaps. I also have some whipped coffee here because it's a um, addiction. Like, it's just a problem. Listen to my audiobook, eat my salad, and I'll talk to you later. Terrible lighting, but I just wanted to update you again tonight. It's now like 10 o'clock, and I did read more in The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I now only have less than 70 pages to go. So my goal is to read more of it tomorrow. I would love to finish it. That would be great. Hello, I am here to make some matcha 
because that's what I've been into lately. I feel like this is just a better angle for it. I heated up some water. It looks gross because it's in our Keurig and I'm like, there's coffee in there, but I'm not going to clean it. I take, oh, this is crucial. This, this is going to like, what's going to stir up the matcha. And I'll kind of make a mess, but you know, whatever. Actually, we're going to use a taller glass this time because definitely think that that's a problem. I don't know what the proper way to do this is, but it's just from messing around and doing it. I'm just, this is what I do. I do a teaspoon of matcha. This is the sweetener I use. I use erythritol um, just because my digestion doesn't agree with a lot of sugar. Just a couple tablespoons, like, I just want it to be sweet enough. I'll do like a tablespoon and a half and then I'll use another type of sweetener. Add in three teaspoons of water and I've found that that makes it a really good consistency. It doesn't make it too watery. And you turn on your little milk frother thingy thing and you mix it all up. That's what it looks like. Bam, 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 bam. I also have this sugar-free vanilla syrup. And I just take some like unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I have these plastic big boba straws, but I rewash them. So I've only used like two. Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. And then I mix it up. I gave you specifics because sometimes I've found from making matcha that sometimes I'll get the wrong color and it won't be like green enough and then it kind of just doesn't taste as good. But this to me is like my perfect recipe. I kind of perfected it. Will I ever film a clip knot in my pajamas? I don't think so. Welcome to Saturday night. It is nine o'clock. I don't know. <laughs> I got busy today. What can I say? Um, today I spent time watching crappy Lifetime movies and I watched Mr. and Mrs. Smith for the first time. I bought new shoes. That's exciting. Want to see them? So like right now, I don't go anywhere because pandemic, but for when I do go somewhere ever again someday in the future, my shoe size is never going to change. So I'm just going to buy them now. Um, I got these. I don't know. They may look make my feet look really, really big. Don't know. And I also bought these because I think there's a really pretty color. They were on clearance for like $5 and I was like, hey, I previously have a pair of Walmart flats like that and they are really, really comfortable. So I was like for the day that I ever go outside and do anything. Again, I have them. Oh, I finished a book. I finished my book. The book that I finished was the book that I was in the middle of and that is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, which is in this giant Sherlock Holmes bind up. It is the fourth book uh, in the Sherlock Holmes series, I think. It's the third book the third book yeah and the adventures of Sherlock Holmes is a short story collection of a bunch of stories and I like this I didn't enjoy this as much as the other Sherlock Holmes novels but I thought it was really good a lot of them I didn't really predict and I just like how Doyle tells a story I think Sherlock Holmes is a very interesting character I think that he just knows how to write mysteries I gave it four out of five stars because it's not my favorite in the series, but I still think it was good. I would probably reread it. I just think the narrator I listened to wasn't very good, frankly. He wasn't very good at differentiating his voice between Watson and Sherlock. I would have liked more voice. Dif different, different, I don't know what word I'm looking for. I don't think it exists. I'm not crazy. It is a word and the word is differentiation. So I'm not an idiot. I would have just liked some some changes in the vocal chords. What is going on? That being said, the challenge that I completed, I did. I'm 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 doing pretty good so far. This is readathon. I ended up using the Mama Odie prompt. That is to make another team's prompts into one of your own. Instead of doing Prince Naveen, which would have been King of Scars. I have decided to use the book you predict will be five stars, which is Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. I didn't write it five stars, but that that that's besides the point. <laughs> Forgot that I'm supposed to be reading in a certain order. I'm losing it. 
the, the brain isn't working anymore. Next book that I should be reading is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafron. I am 22 pages into it. I started it and then I had to return the audiobook. I got the audiobook again. So this is my current read. I forgot that I had to follow a TBR. I was like, what is my next read gonna be? I'm not gonna let this clip go on forever. My neck hurts. So I will see you tomorrow and we'll wrap it up. Maybe we'll read some more tomorrow. Maybe we won't. Because this book is definitely gonna be more of a requires more of my brain power. Hello and welcome to Sunday evening, almost five o'clock probably. I've reached my point. I am so aggravated that I might cry. Did read some and I started The Shadow of the Wind. I am now on page 58. I'm not planning on just like reading this and nothing else i can't handle this much of a read because i can't even listen to the audiobook because it has so much depth to it it did take me a bit to get into i like just started getting into it and i feel like it just got interesting i haven't read anything else like really of substance i just kind of wanted to round out this vlog I started off the week rough very rough We're ending it rough i guess not nearly as rough but just irritating i guess that's all i got so i hope you enjoyed whatever this vlog was and i hope if you're doing disneyathon that you're having success and even more success than i am i hope you are <laughs> i really hope you are um and that's all i got so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i shall see you in the next one bye